Okay, so I've made up my bag and this is the right side of my straps and this is going to be the right side of the handle. So this is the one with the Decafil. So step number one, I'm going to take my outside handle piece, line up the seam allowances and pop a pin, okay? And then on the opposite side, I'm going to take the right side of my um, liner, if you like, and pop that like so. And then I'm going to stitch along here from that tip to that tip. So I'm just encasing the strap through all three layers. Okay, so that is either side of my strap or my handle attached to my bag strap on one handle. So now we're going to do the same thing. I want to put the right side of this strap to the right side of my little uh, interfaced handle. So that's right sides together and you can kind of double check it by just flipping it out this way. So that is right sides together of the bag handle and this strap. And then this is where the hot dog or burrito comes in because we want to take the liner piece and wrap it behind where we've just pinned this bag strap. And then we're going to pin and stitch this. So again, I've got my right side of my handle attached to both of my bag straps, right sides together. And the liner is attached to one bag strap at the moment. So I want to take this liner of my handle, wrap this around, line up all the edges like you did on the opposite side and then stitch across here. So I'm going to pop another couple of pins just to hold this in place. Okay, so just to show you how this looks now, now I've got the bag handle attached to both straps and the bag liner attached to both straps but obviously I've got these two raw edges. So this is where we start our burrito or our hot dog handle. If you just turn this so that the right sides of the handle come together, can you see now that the straps have come away from the top? So we're gonna do this in two stages. We're gonna stitch along the top and it's easier to stitch from this side and use the interfacing as a guide. So making sure that the straps are tucked right away, right away from this edge, because we're going to stitch really close to this edge, pin along this edge. So you can see my straps are out of the way, pinning along there. And then again at the opposite end, just tuck that strap right out of the way. Pop in a couple of pins. And then I'm going to stitch all the way along here with a one centimetre seam allowance. So again, just making sure that the strap is well away from this seam. So at this stage, I've stitched along this top edge. So that's now joined and you can just check that your straps haven't been caught in. So this is where it gets interesting. So what I want to do now is stitch part of this line and then part of this line. And to do that, I'm going to tuck this strap. If I look from the top, I'm stuffing this right inside like a little burrito. And we're only going to stitch a couple of centimetres of this because it's too thick and we want to make sure we're definitely not stitching on the strap. So I'm really feeling that with my fingers. I'm going to do this side and then I'm going to do the opposite side. You could, if you wanted to, put a little bit of tape to hold that out of the way. I'm just really holding on to this and taking it. Okay, so that is this side of the corner done here. And now we're going to do this one. So again, 
just swapping this over, take this strap and really push this right out of the way so that you've only got the handle and the handle facing or liner together and then pop some pins and you can really feel at the moment whether or not you've got the strap in there. Pretty happy that that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to stitch this little section. Okay, so before I turn this out, I want to give this a good trim, but just to show you how this looks, you want to start carefully turning this out. So I've left quite a small hole, maybe I've left too small a hole. So I'm just going to start working this out and just be patient. It feels like it's not going to work, but trust me, it will. Okay, so I'm working this to the right side, really giving that a good tug to turn this through. Okay, and then I'm going to work on this side. So it's not sitting that flat because I haven't done all my trimming. starting to look like a handle so that's the wrong side and that's going to be the outside or the main part of our strap so the final little bit we just want to make sure that we poke out our corners and this will all sit flatter for you guys when you trim it I'm not going to turn this back through I just wanted to show you how this works and then we've got that little bit that's open that we need to sew closed. So you tuck these in. And pin. I'm just tucking the folded edges in together. Now I'm only stitching the hole closed, but in order to make it look nice, I'm actually going to stitch the whole length from there to there. So make sure that you've um, really turned this out well before you do this top stitching. And then I'm gonna take this to the machine and hopefully you might be able to see and now I'm going to top stitch down here so this fake suede is quite heavy This row of top stitching quite close to the edge so that it holds that opening closed. Okay, so that's one half. Then I'm going to do the same distance of edge stitching on the other side just to make it look like it's supposed to be. both sides of my strap top stitched. Now I might want to put a second row just to hold everything together and make it look more of a feature. So again I'm going to follow the previous line of top stitching that we did on the um, opening of the bag. So that's one centimetre. And 
turn it over and repeat on this side. So the double row of top stitching gives you that really nice neat finish and this will work whether it's a PU or a faux suede like mine or if it's um, even a cotton canvas. Okay, so once I've done a little whisker trim, that's my um, totally encased burrito handle or a hot dog handle as John as I like to call it. <laughs> 